Welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online, the Slowtro Edition. This is Narwin A here. Say hello to everyone, Narwin A. Good girl. When last we left off, we were actually way out yonder in the Midgewater Marshes, over there next to the Goblin Hole. And we had just defeated a couple of Goblin Chieftains. We were getting... Um, a quest from Mr. Neeker friend and a bunch of other stuff. You see them all over here. Collect sickle fly wings. We were being asked to kill spiders and midgewater sappers. But along the way to get over there, we had passed by Grabo Dogwart's house. And I have been informed by Phil and by by Trotter that there this quest, there is a quest that involves this house. And it starts over in Bree. Apparently there are posters post, uh, put up here and there around Breetown, but there's also some in the jail. So we are going to travel back on over to um, Bree, and we are going to take a look at what those posters in the jailhouse say and see what the quest is that it starts us out on to find out what's going over here at Dogwart's house. So we're going to take a look at that, and I will get back to you when we get over there to the jailhouse. Okay, folks, we could not find one actually inside the Bree Jail, which is right over here. I didn't see a, a posted bill or message anywhere, but these are all over the place. So I guess this is close enough that it counts as the jail, I suppose. I suppose that it does. And there's some more back over there near the, the the town hall and down the alley there. So there's quite a few right around in this area. A posted bill starts the quest, Turtles in the Soup. This bill has been posted in the town of Bree, asking interested parties to help a local merchant. Let's see what it says. The writing on the bill is scrawled in a messy hand, as if the author had many such notices to prepare and could not mask his impatience with the task. It reads, "Greetings to you, friend. Have the delicious smell have the ha have the delicious smells emanating on a hungry day from Mandrake's finest stews and sauces caused you to desire that meal time was nearer." If so, you know the high quality of Sig Mandrate's preparations and know what is at stake should they be hindered. Sig Mandrake has a need for interested parties to help him with the prepare preparation of such a stew. Speak with him at his shop here in Bree, east of the Mudgate, for the details. So talk to Sid Mandrake. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with the English language this morning. It's not like I'm a natural-born speaker of it or anything like that. I think it was that first one. I thought it was thought it was going to be uh, thought it should have been uh, how has or something, and and the fact that it was have it just threw me totally off. As I said, here's another posted bill right there, same one, turtles in the soup. So he did have to put up quite a few of those bills, didn't he? And there's one there, turtles in the soup. He wanted to make sure you didn't miss that one. I suppose that one back there must count for the one at the jailhouse. As they say, there are a few more scattered about here. And I do thank y'all for letting me know about them. Because I don't know if I ever would have... Uh, I, I knew they were Quest. I'd seen them there. I knew the yellow writing, but I never clicked on them. For some reason, I just kept running right on by them. All right. Now, they actually said east of, didn't they? So is that Mandrake shop? Okay, we've never been in here before. Hmm, I'm wondering if you can go in here if you don't have the quest. Very cool, we are discovering new places and new locations here that we have never seen before. 
Nice little place. You can tell that I love the, the tradition of sticking your knife in the table when you're through eating. Excuse me, dog. I'm not going to bother, bother your bone. I assure you of that. Sig Mandrake. Okay, what have you got to tell us, Sig? I don't like the way you're fingering that broom there. Greetings. You are here about the turtle soup, I presume. I have had all callers all day. Perhaps I prepared too many of those notices. My hobbit friend has been very eager about posting them, I must say. I have come into possession of an order for a large batch of turtle soup. Normally this would not be a problem, but the desired recipe is most specific about the sort of turtles that can be used. Not just any turtle would do. They must be tiny turtles, and those are found only at very specific locations. You wish to join the ranks of the many, many adventurers who have agreed to help me with this. Good, I suppose. Tiny turtles, like those I need, can be found south of Bree, along the northern bank of Hellcatch Lake. So we need to catch six tiny turtles from the northern shore of Hellcatch Lake. Excuse me, dog. That looks like one very happy dog there. So, it's going to be back to Hellcatch Lake, which I think is pretty much... Hmm, I'm not sure if that's the one that we go fishing in during the, the fishing festivals, the spring fest and all, or if that's the one that is just south of... Is it Staddle? Either way, we'll find out here shortly enough. I think I'll check the one down south of Bree, south of the uh, south gate. And when we get there, we shall let you know. Alright folks, we went up there and tried the one just south of Staddle first. It's called the Little Staddle Mirror. Then we tried this one where you go fishing over there during the festivals. And it doesn't have a name and there was nothing there. And I was kind of despairing. Then I remembered that there was this lake right over here. I've rarely ever been to it. We've ran around it a time or two, but I would imagine it is very infrequently traveled. But there you go, the hell catch. So we have found the correct lake now. Now if we can just find, let's see, the northern shore. Okay, we are on the northern shore, so we are correct. We need to see if we can find the tiny turtles now. Collect tiny turtles. As we escape from the Neeker Breakers and all that sort of thing at the same time. Tiny turtles, tiny turtles. Do we have to actually go fishing for them, perhaps? I'm not seeing any turtles. Plenty of Neeker Breakers. Seeing the... Are there any over this way, around the ruins? Seeing lots of Neeker Breakers, I see boars and that sort of thing. Oh, there's another shore over there. Let's go over that way and see if maybe they're on that shore. Before we pull out our fishing rod and actually go fishing for them. There we go. There we go, tiny turtles. Here, turtle, 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 turtle. And a bunch of turtle catchers. Very cute. Look at there. Come here, you. Come here, turtle. Let's see what it says. Collect tiny turtles. Alrighty. We've got one. Very good. Now, let's take a look at the quest right quick. What does it say? A tiny turtle. Turtles are notoriously difficult to catch unless you try to catch one, at which point it becomes difficult not to catch one. <laughs> Very cute. Very cute. These are a much nicer variety of those gigantic monsters we see over there in Angmar, aren't they? These are actually almost cute. Almost. It's amazing how just shrinking something down a little bit can make them cute. And one more. There we are. Okay. Back to the... The, uh... Mudgate, take him back to Mandrake's restaurant, and I will see y'all whenever we get inside. Back up to Mandrake's shop. 
Let's go in, take him the tiny turtles, and see what that has done and what it has to do with dog warts. Is it dog wart? I think it's dog wart. See what it has to do with How can I be of service? his house and shed. These would do, these would do, Narwin, eh? I am waiting for more people to bring in turtles. There is a very large order of turtle soup, and it would take many more turtles than I've received so far. Fortunately, it seems as if everyone in Bree is pinching in. It is a wonder there are still turtles to find. I have not yet begun to prepare the soup. I'm waiting until I have enough turtles for it. Would you do something for me? Grabo's request. You did good work out there, Narwane. You made it back more quickly than a lot of these so-called adventurers. Perhaps you would be willing to help me with something else. One of the little folk who lives up in Staddleway sent word that he was eager to help me gather turtles for the turtle soup. Benagar Longbottom, he said his name was, and he's been keeping the turtles he gathered for me in his uncle's shed. Go to the village of Staddle and ask Grobo Dogward if you can collect the turtles his nephew had gathered for me. Be sure to ask him is in his house first. Don't just barge into his shed without asking. Grobo Dogward is a neighbor of Eldo Swatmidge on the eastern side of the village of Staddle. All right, Mr. Dogward. Yes, we would do that. Let's go and see what's cooking over at Grobo's house. And why it isn't cooking over here? At Sig's place. So we shall see. I will see you at Mr. Dogwart's. We are approaching Mr. Dogwart's. Let us actually go through into the... Into his house first and ask him. I think maybe last time, whenever we were exploring this, we actually went to the shed first. But we might ought to do this the correct way about. Okay. Yeah, in fact, we've already looked kind of around its house a little bit. There's Mr. Dogwart. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, right. mercy me! Gentle Hobbit, I imagine. Oh, my! Are you here about the... the... the turtles? Please tell me that's why you're here. You're sure, Grobo, that you have indeed come for the turtles, and he breathes a tremendous sigh of relief. Good, good. You have no idea what that means to me. My nephew, Brinegar, collected a bunch of turtles and has apparently been keeping them in my shed. I went in there this morning to fetch some supplies for breakfast, and what do I see? T -t -t turtles everywhere! They must have used their horrible little beaks to loosen the tie on the bag, and they've scampered loose. They are crawling all around the shed. Do me a favor and pick up the bag inside the shed, then gather up the turtles. Let me know when you've done it. I am so scared of t T -t turtles I cannot stand to do it myself scared of turtles man don't you ever go to Angmar that's all I can say you would not like what you find there okay come on Ooh, that was a low bridge a Lola Brigida I didn't know if I was gonna make it back out of there Gotta come underneath that arch just right. All right, Grabo's sack shed. There is the turtle carrying shed. I don't remember the turtles being in here last time. This sack is used for holding turtles once they've been caught. There are air holes in the sides, of course. Well, of course. Let's not think about the fact that these turtles are all going to be cooked in the soup. Let's make sure they live to get there, right? Grabo's greatest fear. Making Grabo Dogwart a little happier. I'm glad we can make him a little happier. Are we going to collect all of them out of here? Don't think so. I think there'll be enough around that there'll still be a few. Let's see. What do we got there? I wonder if it changes once you get it full. Come back here, turtle. 
Got them all? Oh, I've got them all. Okay, didn't realize. Mm. Yep, poor Grabo. Turtles, turtles everywhere. Wow. I am impressed. Definitely don't remember there being turtles in there before, but maybe there were. Maybe there were. I would definitely have thought because I just went in there and I thought, no, no, I know there wasn't turtles in there before because we were looking at it and saw just the, uh, just the, the, uh, does it say it's full of turtles now? No. It said that I was talking about the, the various places to sleep there. Oh, show the turtle carrying sack to Grabo Dogwart in his hobbit hole. We were talking about the various rucksacks kind of set out there to sleep in and that I wondered if it was something to do with bandits or something like that. So we definitely didn't see any turtles before. Oh gracious me! That's the turtle carrying sack, is it? They're in there! Oh, I can hear them plotting to escape again. The tiny little monsters! Can you imagine how horrible it would be if they grew any larger than this? Oh, I cannot bear it. They are bad enough at this size. I don't know what Benagar was thinking, keeping them in my shed. He knows how I feel about turtles. Hear me. Please don't leave yet. Twice the turtles. You know, I haven't seen my nephew Benagar since he left that bag of turtles in my shed. I hope the boy's not gotten himself into some turtle-related mischief. Return that bag of turtles to Sig Mandrake at his shop in Bree and see if he's heard any more news of my nephew. All right, we can do that. And we'll check on your poor nephew along the way, too. What was that? Oh, just the, just the foot of the candelabra. So we're going to head back to Bree, head back over to Mandrake's shop, and see if we can find any news about Benegar. And we will see you whenever we get talking to Sig. We have returned to see Mr. Mandrake. Let's give him the bag of turtles and see if he might know what's happened to Mr. Dogwort's nephew. Greetings. Ah, oh, you have brought another bag of turtles? Good, good. This is the one Benegar Longbottom set aside for me, is it? I would say I almost have enough tiny turtles to begin making the turtle soup. Not just yet, but very soon, I would say. I did see the boy not long ago. He said he'd found a place where he's sure to catch twice the turtles anyone else has caught and ran off to prove it. I told him there were no turtles to find at the place he described as I've only ever seen frogs there, but he insisted. If you are looking for it, you can see him yourself, I suppose. He was going to an island in the middle of one of the Everclear lakes, northwest of Bree. All right, so we're going to travel around to the other side of Bree, the one that we abandoned a little while back whenever we came to the east side of Bree to run through Staddle and all. So we will be going up and past the past the uh, Constable's, Constable Bry, Greenbrier, is it? I think that's his house. Past his house up toward uh, Ranger Serdan's cabin up that way and off to the left where the Everclear Lakes are. So we will be there very shortly. We are passing Greenbriars, and it looks like more quests have opened up. Watch your rose cane. Might I take a moment of your time? The flow of goods. We'll have to grab this one before we head back up this way and and work on the the quest over on this side of the lake again, this side of town again. Let's see. I'm on a cross. I think the Everclear Lakes are right over there which are apparently infested with frogs, but not turtles. Let's hope Mr. Benegar is okay. Especially since he is up here in... He is up here in bandit territory. Just to be sure we stay okay, we're gonna bring Bobo up. Make sure we don't get jumped by anything we can't handle. I believe the Everclear Lake should be right over in that area. Is that them? That may be them. And that is that the island that it's on? Is that the island that they're talking about? Let's move on out there and see. If we might see someone named Benegar here. Hello. 
Okay, why have I locked? There we go. Stuff locking up on me there for a second. Yep, Everclear Lakes. And I thought I saw someone named... There we go, Benegar. Tiny frogs. Tiny, tiny little frogs. Hello, Mr. Longbottom. Oh dear, it seems I was mistaken. There are no turtles here. There's something worse. He looks around conspiratorially and then whispers a single word. Murder. Really? Might I speak with you a moment? The password. Well, maybe not murder, but they sounded very serious, and I'm afraid it won't be long before their plans come to fruition. I was crouching down in the mud here looking for turtles when two shabbily dressed men came wading out to the island. They looked like they didn't want to be seen and kept peering over their shoulders back in the direction of Bree. I thought at first they were here to look for turtles at my prime turtle catching spot, but then they started talking, and their words, oh my, they spoke of a group that has infiltrated Bree and is gathering strength, watching and waiting, and when they are ready they are planning a surprise for the village, one the Bree folk will not soon forget. Quick wit Culver sharpening his blade, the seediest man said, and Twisted Garrett has all the rope we'll need. They left after that, but not before discussing the password the infiltrators used to get into their hideout. It's, another infiltrator is here, and if you say it to the doorman, you can get inside and stop this before they're ready. Their hideout is in Bree, south of the high stair, and their doorman stands out front. Stop them, Narwane! Talk to the doorman at the infiltrator's hideout and give him the password. All right, so we have run into bad times for Bree. Okay, that sounds like the title of this episode, Bad Times for Bree. It's going to be that or something about turtles. I haven't assumed yet. Although if you ask Dogwart, turtles would be bad times for Bree. Let's head on down south and let's see if we can find this terrible infiltrator's hideout. All right, we're passing through the stone quarter. We may... The high stair and all is up that way, so we may have to... Uh, this is the high stair. That's the things leading up to it and all, so... Well, let's see. Otis Woodman. The password. Yep, there he is. Uh, Otis Woodman. The seedy door. Let's see. Not all who wander are lost. Tell me what you need or move along. No, no, no. That is not the password. And what do you mean by that? I would say anyone wandering around is either lost or up to no good, like one of them rangers. I saw a ranger in town up by the pony yesterday morn, and he gave me a look such as I've never earned, I'll tell you that much. Seems to me we'd be better off if them rangers went a-wandering and got themselves good and lost. But that's not the password. Are you sure? The ghost bear roars. This is intolerable. The, the ghost bear? How do you know about that? I can see you are more experienced than you appear, stranger. None have spoken of the ghost bear for many a year. Time was when you could not traverse open field or dale without fear of the sudden phantom roar of his passage. And then you would turn, certain you were about to be set upon by slavering jaws, only to find yourself alone with your thoughts and trembling. But it is not the password. It should be. <laughs> I can remember the ghost bear. Friend. Tell me what you need or move along. Friend? What kind of password is that? I'm not your friend. <laughs> I like the sense of humor in this one. This one's funny. Open up. I'm losing my patience. Why are you bothering me? That's not the password. That would be a terrible password. Oh, you mean you're losing patience and I should open the door. Ha! <laughs> That's a good one. Sorry, you don't get to go in. Why not? The password. Why are you bothering me? What's that? Another infiltrator is here. Okay. I don't recognize you, but our group is pretty large by now. So that doesn't surprise me. As many as it takes, am I right? 
We might have chosen a better password, I suppose, but at least it's easy to remember. I do not ask much of you. <laughs> the infiltrator's surprise. You have told me the password, so you can go on in. I will show you the way. Lots of people are already inside. I let in Quickwit Culver and Twisted Garrett and a few of the others. Let me know when you are ready to go in. Talk to Otis Woodman and explore the infiltrator's hideout. Ooh, this looks like an instance type thing. Is it? Yep, new quest. The infiltrator's... Infiltrator's surprise? Yep. So we will stop there. And we will do the infiltrator's surprise next time here. So I should, I'll be off tonight and tomorrow morning, so I should be able to get up the other half of this tomorrow because I'm looking forward to it. I want to see what happens inside the Infiltrator's hideout. So we shall certainly see you then. Thanks for coming along and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. What are we going to think about today? Well, we'll think about Otis Woodman and his sense of humor about passwords. That's as good a thing as any. Bye-bye, folks.